Our study deals with one of the consequences of the disastrous earthquake and subsequent tsunami that hit Japan in March 2011. Caused by the explosions and meltdowns in the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plants, large amounts of radioactive material, including long-living isotopes such as cesium-137, were released into the environment. Contaminated waters entered the Pacific Ocean by atmospheric deposition and direct discharge of coolant in the weeks after the catastrophe. In this study, we investigate the long-term fate of these waters in the Pacific Ocean using numerical model experiments. The model simulates the ocean currents with very high resolution. It thus captures much of the intense eddying flows along the Kuroshio. To simulate the dispersal of the contaminated water by the ocean currents, we use an idealized tracer behaving like a dye with a half-life of 30 years, which we injected into the coastal waters of Fukushima. We want to emphasize that our approach is restricted to the physical spreading and does not account for possible biological effects, for example adhesion of isotopes to sinking organic matter. Neither does our model assimilate any ocean data, therefore we do not account for the actual state of the local currents at the time of the release. However, the initial state turned out to be of minor importance for the trace spreading after two to three years. The following animation shows the spreading of our dye at the ocean surface. The color represents the concentration of the tracer relative to the initial concentration in the coastal area of Fukushima at the end of the injection period. The tracer invades the highly energetic Kuroshio regime within the first weeks after the release and starts spreading meridionally due to the eddies dominating the flow field in this area. After one year, maximum concentrations are diluted by two orders of magnitude and already cross the dateline, further heading east. The southern edge of the tracer cloud reaches the Hawaiian Islands after about two years, while the northern edge has begun to enter the Bering Sea. Meanwhile, concentrations near Japan have been dropping significantly due to replacement by less contaminated waters through the Kuroshio, separating the main cloud into a northern and a southern part. After four years, the maximum concentration has dropped by three orders of magnitude and the entire northern Pacific is filled with a certain amount of tracer. When the peak concentration reaches the North American coast after about five to six years, it has been diluted by four orders of magnitude. The concentration levels from now on tend to homogenize over the entire basin.